Understanding Criminal Liability, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a very important legal concept, criminal liability. Understanding this term is crucial not just for law students, but for everyone, as it helps us comprehend how legal systems determine responsibility for criminal actions. Let's dive in and demystify criminal liability together. Criminal liability refers to the legal responsibility a person has for breaking the law. It's the foundation for determining whether someone can be legally charged with a crime. The key here is understanding that criminal liability involves both the action of doing something against the law, known as the actus reus, and the intention or mindset of the person at the time of committing the act, known as the mens rea. For someone to be held criminally liable, the legal system must prove both these elements. Let's break it down further. Actus reus. This Latin term means, guilty act. It's the physical act of committing a crime. It can be an action, like stealing, or a failure to act like not providing food to someone you're responsible for. Mens rea. This means, guilty mind. It refers to the state of mind of the person at the time of the crime. It involves intentions, knowledge, recklessness, or negligence regarding the act. Both actus reus and mens rea must be present for a court to establish criminal liability. Crimes can be categorized into various types, such as felonies, misdemeanors, and infractions, based on their severity. Criminal liability can also vary depending on the type of crime committed. Some crimes require a high level of intent, while others may be based on negligence or recklessness. Additionally, there are strict liability offenses, where proving the mens rea is not necessary. The mere act, actus reus, is enough for criminal liability. There are several defenses that can be used to challenge criminal liability. These include, insanity, arguing that the defendant was not in a sound state of mind to understand the nature of the act or distinguish right from wrong. Duress, the act was committed under immediate threat of injury or death. Self-defense, the act was necessary to protect oneself or others from imminent harm. Mistake of fact, the defendant had a genuine and reasonable belief that negates the mens rea. Understanding these defenses is crucial, as they can completely negate criminal liability or reduce the severity of the punishment. And that's a wrap on criminal liability. We hope this video has shed light on how the legal system determines responsibility for criminal actions. Remember, knowing about criminal liability is not just for legal experts, it's knowledge that empowers us all to better understand the laws that govern our society. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this explainer helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. See you in the next video.